Today we're at the Frederick Grinnell Training Center in Cranston, Rhode Island, where we'll install and set a Tyco Model AV1300 alarm check valve. When properly installed, the Tyco AV1300 can automatically actuate electric and or hydraulic alarms when there is a steady flow of water into the system, typically from the discharge of water onto a fire. Before installing the AV1 valve, be sure to consult the technical data sheet TFP910. Trim the alarm check valve. Refer to the technical data sheet TFP910 and refer to figure 4, 5, or 6 to determine the trim. Apply pipe thread sealant sparingly to the male threads only. If a water motor alarm is not being used, the alarm vent trim must be installed. Next, plug unused alarm connections. Suitable provision must be made for disposal of alarm line and system drainage water. Drainage water must be directed so that it will not cause damage or result in dangerous conditions. The alarm line drain must be arranged so that there will be no danger of freezing. The check valve in the externally mounted bypass around the waterway clapper must be installed with its arrow pointed up, and the drain check valve must be installed with its arrow pointing towards the drain. Depending on the trim package used, a vent connection for the alarm line may be required. Install that now if so. The following steps are performed when initially setting the model AV1300 alarm check valve or after system operation. Be sure to notify all proper authorities and personnel that an alarm test is to be performed. First, open the quarter inch gauge test valves for the supply and system pressure gauges. Check to see that the handhole cover bolts are tight. If not, cross tighten them. Close the alarm test valve. Open the remote cross main or branch line vent connection. Slowly open the main control valve until the sound of flowing water just begins and then open the valve one more turn. After the discharge of aerated water ceases and the outlet has flowed full for at least 15 seconds, close the remote branch line vent connection. Next, fully open the main control valve. Open the end of line inspector's test connection or alarm test valve if acceptable to the authority having jurisdiction and verify that the system alarms operate. Close the end of line inspector's test connection or alarm test valve. Finally, verify that water ceases to flow from the alarm line drain. After verification that the flow of water out of the alarm line drain has stopped, the AV1300 alarm check valve is set and ready for service. For additional information about the installation process, maintenance questions or any other technical support needs, please visit tyco-fire.com.